Oh, we're back. Good luck. What the fuck is that supposed to mean, Roll? Hey! Welcome back to Mega Man Legends. It's been a hot minute. Um, we're gonna keep... Damn it, we've already seen this, but I guess we'll watch it again. Uh, so, we are playing this on our very super big legitimate, uh, PlayStation 1 era PlayStation. That, <laughs> that camera angle was dumb and weird. Um, so on our super big legitimate PlayStation 1... There might be a couple things that look different, and that might behave differently than they did on our other legitimate PlayStation 1 that was actually legitimate. Can you hear me, Mega Man? Okay, we've, we've gone through all this. Keeping I'm gonna skip past it. I accidentally shot a rocket while trying to skip through dialogue. Fuck me. Mega Man God! You'll have to... Oh my god, how many times can I make that mistake? Okay. So it's been a hot minute. Um... So, it's literally months later. Uh, I'm back. Uh, I never left. Well, that's not true. I was gonna say, I never left. But I actually did physically leave where- Oh god, I forgot all of the controls. Um, the controls feel especially weird on my very legitimate PlayStation 1 controller. Okay, I get it. There's a lot of you. So, from what I recall, where we left off, we did attempt to explore this a little bit and then chickened out super hard because we weren't a huge hero with big muscles um, and I wanted to go explore the game more. But uh, we're coming back and we're going to spearhead the story a fair bit. We're also going to... Oh, no! All that potential money is gone. Well, we can get this money. We can't get that money. All right. Oh, see you later, sir. You can't climb ramps, right? Okay, it doesn't look like it. So, I was gone for a bit. A, I physically left out east uh, to go hang out for a month, anything? which was fun. Uh, I went to I'm Nova Scotia. For those that don't know, that's New Scotland. That um, which is not in Scotland, it's actually in Canada. <laughs> um, it's a province. And, uh, I have a lot of family out there, and it was super big mega fun, and I had a big family reunion of an absurd amount of people. But you don't care about that. So yeah, quick, I guess, life update for anybody that cares about that kind of thing. Um, the reason that I postponed this, I did explain in the end of the previous episode, which I might edit out and re-upload, because that'll be annoying to listen to. The reason that I stopped is because recording this on super legitimate PS1s is actually a huge pain in the ass, the way that I have it set up. Um, and I recall saying that I would get back to this game when I get a chance, uh, when I have a potentially better method for which to record it. And I have found that, and that method is uh, straight up a new PC. Uh, when I got back from out east, I was using my laptop, and I was like, okay, cool, I haven't used my laptop in a month. Uh, let's get back to work. And then... There's something there. What's there, Roll? It looks like some kind of compactor or something. Mm hmm Sweet, 300 zenny. So, I came back, and my laptop was super effed. It was really big messed up, and I was like, oh, that's not ideal. And then, I kept attempting to use it. I did the best that I could with the tools that I had, which is something that I say a lot, but this time it was very true. Um, and I used my laptop for as long as I could possibly use it in the state that it was in. At the end of the day, my laptop got to a place where it could no longer boot. Uh, I lost a couple things, but I back up files pretty regularly. So nothing of crazy big importance was lost. Like I have all my assets and important like art and important videos and whatnot. Um, but I did purchase a new PC, uh, which I am using to record my other super big PS1. Fuck it, I'm emulating this game. Uh, I own it physically. Look, here's a video of me with the disc. Um, I own it physically, so fuck it. Uh, and we're gonna see how this goes. And I'm excited to be continuing it, but the rust is very real, and that's another thing I say a lot, and it doesn't excuse playing a game poorly, 
or commentating poorly, but that's the reality. If things look different or sound different, it's because I fucked up and I unlearned all of the things that I used to know how to do. Remember the first time you went on a dig, Mega Man? No. I wasn't used to being a spotter, and you ended up getting lost underground for three days. <laughs> Remember? Ha! Hilarious! It's lucky that Gramps came to help us. Fucking hilarious. You almost died, Mega Man. Man. Remember those good times? Roll. Like, I love you, but... That's not a... F that doesn't sound like it would be a fun memory. Remember the time... You were stuck underground for three days. Looks like it's rusted shut. Huh. How about that? Hmm. Okay. Um. So yeah, I've got a new setup, and uh, I'm actually planning on editing a video and posting it on a Vizzo guy of my new setup. Generally, that's reserved for, like, art channels and whatnot, and I don't actually technically use my channel as an art channel that much right now so like it doesn't really count is this a button it's a switch oh man i heard these are super hard to come by so yeah if if new setups are something that you're interested in and seeing like what i'm working with uh i guess i'll have a link to that video if you care and if you don't then fuck it just ignore that um what does this do it's a switch sure oh does that shut it down heck all right. Um, but yeah, I, I am back, and I'm recording this in 60 frames per second, I hope. If I fucked that up, well, you know. Man, I can't wait to grind out this friggin' treasure chest and destroy all contents within it. This is a flawless decision. Oh my god, wait, okay. <laughs> I was like, wait, did I actually you not get anything from it? that? That's two. Only one more to go. You don't see anything inside. All right, um, how are we doing on the map? Uh, but yeah, I, th I believe things are good, and yeah, so just like, oh, all right, restart that sentence. So yeah, life is, uh, life has changed just a little bit in regards to my new setup. It's still in the same goddamn tiny room, but at least it's getting goddamn colder this time of year, so I'm not going to be overheated all the hell because of a million electronics running in my tiny room. So yeah, back to Mega Man Legends. Oh, I think I'm gonna try another thing to talk about. I'm gonna try and actually make Mega Man Legends a bit more edit heavy, because what I've learned over the past uh, little t little bit of time and making this and streaming Final Fantasy Tactics, which I do on Tuesdays, um, and Final Fantasy Tactics is just an excuse to like play a game, not worry about edits or anything like that really and just upload it. Um, but what I've learned, like Final Fantasy Taxis, Tactics is a great game and I love playing it and I love just uploading it. But what I've learned is that creatively, I don't get any satisfaction from just playing games. It's fun to hang out in chat with people on um, on, Doesn't on Twitch. Doesn't look like there are any big Reaver bots here. Good. Still, you bet yeah, sweet. Old bone, sweet. Winter's bone. Um, but creatively editing videos like what I've done with Shovel Knight and oh my god, what the heck? Uh, what I've done with Shovel Knight and uh all of the other Shovel Knight series and stuff on Inviso Games has been really fun and creatively satisfying for me. Um, it's another energy barrier. I'm getting the same kind of readings as before. Do you see a switch anywhere nearby? Oh man, a switch. Take that, Nintendo. Your consumerism tactics won't work on me. Wow, you have to cut that really close. So yeah, you just have to step on all the switches and run and run real good. All right, sweet. That's it. Now you should be able to access the console. Which console? Is it is it a switch? Anyway, uh Honestly, I think that's the whole dungeon here. I thought this was a big deal, but it's not even a little bit. Um, we did that, we did that. I think we're good here. There's gonna be a lot of off-screen like completion and like figuring out what I've missed, but I think that's I think that's everything. 
But yeah, so change of change of recording uh, style and all that jazz. But um, I'm still gonna be trying to make Mega Man Legends a good series. Honestly, I, the whole point of starting Legends was to kind of sell people on this on the games. Honestly, Mega Man Legends One isn't the best way to go about that. Mega Man Legends One is lacking. Um, it's really fun if you play it yourself, but boy, like, watching it, I imagine it's relatively boring. Um, because it's just a lot of walking. It's still fun, though. Man, like, I don't know. When this game came out, it was... I know people say this about Ocarina of Time and shit like that all the time. All the Ocarina of Time. And they're like, oh man, it really revolutionized the gaming industry, and like, it was the first time anybody attempted something like this in 3D, and like... There's something to be said about everybody's different approaches to implementing a pre-existing license into a 3D property. Can I not fucking find this ramp for my life? Christ! Um, implementing different properties into 3D. I think Legends did it really well, and it's a shame that it didn't continue. Like, Tron Bond is fucking great, even if it's like, it, it can be a little bit minigame heavy. Um, and Legends 2 is phenomenal. We'll get to those when we get to them, but just, oh, I think Legends deserves a lot more. Oh, we're the shield. Cool. Nothing? Nice face. <laughs> Man, I love this game. It's so charming. And then the crystal explode. Where'd the crystal go, Mega Man? Happening? Wow, you really held, you really paused on that for quite some time, sir. All right, well I'm sure we'll get out of here, and there'll be a giant reaver bot or something. Yeah. Whoops. Sorry if you heard my phone. That's a thing that happens. So I guess I got a refractor. That was anticlimactic. Whoa, it's a yellow refractor and a big one too. Good going, Mega Man. We can use this to power all sorts of things. Well, it's a little small to fix the flutter, but I wonder what we can use it for. Let's think of something we can do with it. Okay. Uh, item development, how about that? Please? Yes! That is such a good feeling. The, the moment of hesitation when you're not sure if you've gotten something or not is just goddamn, it's great. Their grenade kit was used to make grenade arm, special, oh. It shoots grenade bombs. If a bomb hits a wall, it will bounce off. So be careful where you shoot it. Spring said we used to make jump springs. Yes, this is what I want. Interesting this time. Springs that will increase your jumping power. Now you'll be able to get to all sorts of places you weren't able to before. Be sure to put them on, okay? I, I genuinely appreciate the like, hey, don't, hey, don't forget to put on this item, because <laughs> you'll forget. All right, well, uh, and with that, I think, uh, I think we'll call that an episode. I'm gonna stumble around for a little bit and try and figure out what the fuck to do next. All right, I have to equip my jump strings. Fuck. Anyway. Uh, thank you guys. Thank you guys so much for joining me. And I will catch you in the next episode. Alright, see ya. Bye!